Hello, it's Dr. Barr, and thank you for joining me on the YouTube channel. And my goal is to provide you with information. I've been treating and I've been um, working with patients that have been exposed or um, sick with COVID since the beginning of the year. It's almost one year now, we know a lot. And the things that will make us an un unwelcoming host to that virus are very important for us to have either a mild disease or not have it at all. There is so much clinical studies for the things that I'm gonna tell you about. It's all backed up by research. And these are the things I would recommend for you, whether you've been exposed or you're in the incubation period and not showing symptoms and coming to the office to get tested or we're visiting you at home. So we can provide you with these supplements, minerals, and immune defenders, if I wanna call them. Um, these are the first things that I want you to be on. Vitamin D has been researched, so I recommend, so most people would get 2,000 and 5,000 IUs, international units. This is the units that you wanna look at, not the milligrams. And of course, I usually monitor my patients, so as a provider, um, and most patients have been tested for vitamin D. So we wanna know what the level of vitamin D is very important. Each person is different, um, whether you have a kidney disease or anything underlying cause, but 5,000 is pretty safe, especially if you're sick. And most of the times, I can, be, I can be following you during that illness and I usually recommend higher doses than the 5,000. This is the most important defender um, that creates so many of the stress hormones that we need in our body to protect us against COVID and there's so many studies. If your levels are below 29, um, that's a higher risk and below 20, which is very common even in California with the sunshine. So these are the numbers that we worry about that the patient might have complications. And remember, so the virus is most of the time in three phases. The first phase is an upper respiratory, kind of mild flu symptoms. And people get fooled by that because they think it's over. So they get better, but later on, three to four weeks, that's why we have the shutdown for three to four weeks. That's when patients end up in the hospitals. So be very careful, notify your physician, or we can monitor you and follow you. and give you um, a lap slip or draw your blood to see where you are with your immunity for that virus. So number one is vitamin D, as I said, 5,000 I use, discuss with your doctor if that's not a dose that you can take. Number two is zinc, everybody's on zinc. However, most of the time people will take a very high dose and they're already sick. It can cause stomach upset. You can have vomiting and upset stomach, which already are symptoms of COVID. So be very careful with the zinc. You want to use the zinc in maybe 25 milligrams and see if you can tolerate that. Take it twice a day. But the zinc needs an ionophore, something that pulls it inside the cell. That's why a lot of my patients, we give them IV zinc. So if the zinc is not pulled into the cell, it will not do that defense mechanism where it prevents the virus from binding into the cell. So we like to combine it with an ionophore and these are very important. Ionophores are, I would do quercetin, that's an important one. Quercetin, we usually use 500 milligrams. If you're uh, sick, we usually use higher doses. So you can ask me that when you come for your visit. I can tailor the dosage, depends what you need. The other thing is selenium. It's a trace element, we need it. And endemic areas that are um, deficient in selenium has the worst pandemics and you know infections with flus and SARS and so forth. So make sure you're taking 100 or 150 micrograms of selenium. The green tea extract, that's a very important one that we actually combined it with the antioxidants like quercetin, curcumin, and these are very important and we have them in one pill that you would take. And that would also be a good prevention if you've been exposed so that you don't get symptoms that are you know severe or complications. And the other thing that is important is that it's an antioxidant. It prevents all the inflammation that happens later. So these are the basic ones. I like licorice as well. If you're not hypertensive, you can get it in a tea or a pill. The other one that I like is cystus and it also can come in a tea. We have those in the office as tea, uh, which is a great prevention. It's easy for kids to take. So these are important. I know vitamin C is important as a general thing. So if you're taking vitamin C, it's fine, but don't overdo it, especially if you're sick or you're worrying about the COVID um, symptoms you might be dehydrated and you don't want to have too much vitamin C because that can cause kidney stones. And we know that COVID affects the kidneys as well. So my advice is very important to make sure, notify your doctor. I usually draw labs for the patient in early in this first stage to see who's going to have problems. We check for vitamin D, we check their white count, the platelets, 
we check for inflammatory markers like CRP, we check for ferritin, and then sometimes we also make sure that the TNF alpha or the IL-6, these are more specialized, specialized lab that we also send out. But if somebody is worried about COVID, I think this is the baseline that we need to do it. So we draw the labs in the first week, but after that, where the complications happen on the third week or the fourth week, we usually do the labs again. I can also send somebody to do x-rays if somebody's having cough with COVID. It is important because we know it causes a lung disease and I've seen, you know, lungs that have been white out and all my patients have done well. So these are the important things that you can take by mouth every day. Don't forget that you're the host. Make sure you're eating healthy. Make sure you're hydrating. No Pedialytes and Gatorades, no sugar for this virus, please, and no cold drinks. I want you to have bone broth or soups. These are the best way to hydrate, especially that we know the patients, when we draw their blood, there's a lot of mineral deficiencies and, and their electrolytes are imbalanced. So not the Pedialyte and not Gatorade, actually that makes it worse. So please make sure you're having a good nutritious soup that has proteins, minerals. I love the bone broth because it has all this nutrition and the minerals that we need for that illness. Now, don't forget, I can help you, I can treat you. We have done IVs, we've done all these vitamins in IVs, we've done an immune shot, we've done glutathione, which is an amazing antioxidant. And most important, please remember that we can do your therapeutics. I've referred patients for Regeneron if you have um, underlying conditions, and if you qualify for that, we send you, we're part of that study, we can send you and we get you to treat it. But remember, treatment has to be within the 72 hours, the very early phase of the illness. The virus, once it gets into the cell, it is really difficult because two, three weeks later, when you think you're done with it, that's when all the damage happens. That's why when people end up in the hospital. So when you get COVID, it's not about staying in the room and being all quarantined. You have to do something. You have to defend yourself against that virus. So please follow these guidelines. If this is almost like an, um, a, a consult for you online. If you have questions, I'm available. When you come for the test, you can always ask me for questions. You can always ask for these supplements. We have them, the minerals, the therapeutics. We have the shots, we have the IV. None of my patients end up in serious illness. And the key is early detection, early diagnosis, and early treatment, meaning like making sure that your body is a hostile environment for that virus and you'll be fine. Thank you so much for listening. I will update this on YouTube. Please subscribe and, and, and send this to friends and family and people that might not know this information. It is very important to create that strong defense host that will make that virus unable to invade your systems. There's so many complications that happens later and the key is to prevent these complications and you can do it. Thank you so much. Any questions, please give us a call at 949-706-1212. We're doing the rapid test, we're diagnosing and we're treating and we're releasing the patients after they get negative. Most of my patients like within six days or so on average gets released back um, with negative nasal results or you know ne negative tests uh, for the rapid test. Thank you so much and I hope that you'll never get that disease or if you get it, it's very mild and it's managed. Okay, take care. Thank you. Mm -hmm.